Hello and welcome my lovers. This is the love Dr. Pamela Smith. Thank you for joining me. I help you with real love, real solutions, real strategies to finding, getting, and keeping love. Now, we're going to go straight into this because this is a great topic. And I'm going to start answering questions to those who send me questions, which is what you all have done. And so the question is, what do I do? I'm ready for sex, but I'm not ready for a mate. Now, this is coming to question from one of the followers here. I like it when you guys send me these questions and then we quickly talk about it. So this is not going to take long because remember, I'm going straight to the point, helping you with love. Now, for all purposes, if you're ready for sex and not a mate, you're okay. Is that okay? You're okay. Nothing's wrong. You're good. Now, why do you always be ready for sex? Why are you always ready for sex? Why are you excited about sex? Why do you want sex? Here it is quickly in a nutshell. You can't hear me? Okay, hold on. Can you hear me now? Ah. Uh. Okay, guys, can you hear me now? Normally, you guys can hear me. I'm usually really, really loud. <laughs> Thank you for letting me know. Okay, so we have the volume up. I'm going to have to start uh, attaching my, um, what do you call it? The, the mic. All right. All right, so here we go. Why are you always ready for sex and, and you're not ready for a mate? Now, here are the things that I'm going to give you really quick. I'm not going to hold you. You know how I am. We'll get to the point. See, you like imp impulsive sex. You like sex often. You may like to masturbate often. Um, you have a high sexual appetite. Or you're just not ready to settle down. Okay? What's the problem? Is there a problem in this? Is it yes and no. Okay? Uh, see... A lot of times when you're that way and not ready for a mate, like I said, you're not ready to settle, settle down. But the main problem is you, you have a form of low self-esteem because you don't feel you're worthy right now for the per because you're looking for the perfect mate. And so because of that, you bring about that low self-esteem of someone that you, you could possibly bring into your life. But because of that, you don't. It doesn't matter if you have kids or not. You're, you have a high desire to be fulfilled sexually often, okay? You, you're, you, it, the problem is with that impulsive sex is that you sabotage promising relationships because you may meet someone that really truly makes you happy and you're actually feeding your ego, because you, you're, you're really not trying to get to know that person. You just want to fulfill your ego and you just want to fulfill your needs uh, sexually. And so that brings about a problem. Now, here are a few things quickly, just a solution. You got to find a hobby that is going to excite you. Because the problem was you needed excitement all the time. Um, that comes from sex. The excitement of having good hot sex right so that excites you so you got to find a hobby that's similar to sex that it, it, that is excites you uh it could be skydiving you know we're talking about things that thrill uh, really thrilling get on a roller coaster uh go bungee jumping um find a a a, a less glamorous but less expensive exciting sport find something like that and it will redirect your desires to have thrilling hot sex, okay, all the time. Nothing wrong with it, but the problem is you're, you're hindering yourself bringing a great mate into your life, okay? Now, once you discover other ways to fulfill your ex, thrill and excitement of sex, then you won't be so driven that you'll be able to meet someone who can satisfy your sexual drive in a, in a more relaxed motion time and not so often. 
Well, you always got to have it. Every person you meet, you always get with someone and they're so excited. So just try something more exciting to keep your mind exciting. Do things that make you laugh a lot. Have fun. Be excited a lot. Something that thrills you. And then that drive for sex all the time will minimize. Okay? So there it is. I hope that information helped you guys out. You know, we keep it quick and simple and give you some things that will help you with things you never really thought about. Keep giving me those uh, comments and send them to me. I'll, you know, do the talk on it. Thank you for the one we talked about today. And always know that true love is delayed. Be patient and love will come. You don't have to go searching for it. And if you're already in a great and wonderful relationship, remember, it's about peace, joy, and happiness. Thank you for joining me tonight. Also, remember, make sure you follow. Share my, share this because a lot of people need it. You got a lot of uh, people out here who are ready for sex <laughs> all the time. So make sure you share and subscribe to my YouTube channel, guys.